That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that's said, take a look at what happened. Many of us who were born in Gen X or at the end of Gen X or in the in between Gen X and the millennials, we know what's going to happen next. We grew up during some really gnarly times. We saw a lot of different things. One of those things would be the uh, you know the uh, epidemic of uh, the fluffy white stuff derivative. In the 80s, if you get what I'm referring to, we saw a lot. We know what's going to happen next. After what happened with Trump and how the media is responding and the fact that the state is still going after him. So the classified documents case against Trump has been dismissed. And it was dismissed because the special counsel, counsel that was assigned to it was told that, you know, it was an overreach. They're appealing it. They are still trying to go after him, even though the case has been dismissed against him. Even after this idiot Gen Zer attempted to do what he did, wanted to do at that rally, they're still going after him. The media is still going after him. Okay? It hasn't even been a full two days yet. This is how insane it is. It is truly unbelievable. And Gen X knows what's going to come next. Because right now, the country is in a very, very different place than it was five or ten years ago. All right? And I'm going to share this with you. So if we go back to 2017, there's something very intriguing. Gallup Vault, Americans Slow to Back Interracial Marriage. This was back in 2017. This is a very, very serious thing. Now, you're going to say oh, interracial marriage. What does it have to do with anything? No, 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 no. It's not what you think. I guarantee it's not what you think. This was, notice the date. The date is very important. June 21st, 2017. Americans are slow to back interracial marriage. That was seven years ago. Seven, yeah, seven years ago, right? And it basically says 50 years ago, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled Loving versus Virginia that Virginia ban on marriage between whites and blacks was unconstitutional, constitutional, thus striking down such laws everywhere that they existed in the country. In advance of this ruling, Gallup found that American, the American public split 48% of U.S. adults in January 1965 approved of laws making marriage between blacks and whites a crime, while 46% disapproved. Okay? So I want you guys to see, like, how bad, where things were seven years ago. Seven years ago. More than 7 in 10 Americans, 72%, disapproved of white non-marriages in contrast with only 21% of Residents in Sweden, 23% in the Netherlands, 25% in France, 34% in Finland, 35% in Switzerland, and 36% in Greece. So this was back in 2017, right? This article is from 2017. It's very, very intriguing. It's really intriguing. Not until the 1990s did public approval cross the 50% threshold, registering 64% in 97 and updated for updated in 2013 shows 87% approving. So, 87%, right? Now, where are we in 2024? Where are we in 2024? In 2024, the number has changed even more. You see, it's now 94% US approval of interracial marriage in 2021 was at 94%. This means even in the deep South, where there are still a lot of issues, there are a lot of people 
that now approve of interracial marriage, but it's not as clear cut as you think. Now we're going to tie it all back to Trump in a moment. I promise you. Okay. But what about inter-party marriage? Ah, now you see where I'm going with all of this, right? In U.S., interpolitical marriage increasingly frowned upon. As time goes by, Americans have broadened their idea of what constitutes marriage, but one area where we've gone the opposite direction, marrying out of the family's political party. The Gallup organization has been charting American attitude about marriage for years. In 1958, for instance, they noted that only 4% of Americans approved of it, only 4% of Americans in 1958 approved of interracial marriage between blacks and whites. Now, all right, that number, as you see, is now 94%. 94% of Americans approve of interracial marriage. 94% improved now. Okay, that's crazy. And just 20 years ago, a majority of Americans disapproved of the idea of marriage between, you know, other groups of people. But a political science professor at the University of California decided to see how people would feel if their kids decided to marry outside of their political party. The Gallup organization asked a random sample of Americans a question about what kind of man people wanted their daughters to marry. Vavrek writes in a Recent email column, a Democrat or Republican. The question read, if you had a daughter or marriageable age, of marriageable age, would you prefer she marry a Democrat or a Republican? All other things being equal. When Gallup surveyors posed the question in 1958, 18% said they would want their daughter to marry a Democrat and 10% a Republican, while an overwhelming 72% said they wouldn't care. And now, so Vavrik decided to ask what she called a representative sample of people, a version of this question, which included the word son as well as daughter. The answers she got were, the answers she got were surprising. 28% of respondents said they wanted their son or daughter to marry a Democrat and 27% a Republican, leaving only 45% to say they didn't care. When it comes to Americans who identify strongly as Democrat or Republican, the divide is even wider. In 1958, 33% of Democrats wanted their daughter to marry a Democrat, and 25% of Republicans wanted their daughter to marry a Republican. Vavrik writes, but by 2016, 60% of Democrats and 63% of Republicans feel that way. It points to the idea that Americans are increasingly living among like-minded people in their own ideological bubble. As it's been called, this trend now applies to romance. So don't be surprised if you hear someone say, no child of mine will marry a Democrat or a Republican, depending on party affiliation. Political gridlock, it seems, has moved out of the voting booth and into the wedding chapel. So now there is overwhelming support for interracial marriage. 94%, guys. 94%. This basically means that you can you have a lot of people in the deep south and they are fine with you bringing home, you know, that nice guy of another race, as long as he's, you know, he's as long as he's, you know, the, the same political affiliation as the family. But you better not bring home that other guy who's the same race, same ethnicity. You know, if he's a if he's a if he's not a part of uh, of the family's political ideology, or there's going to be problems. So we are more divided than ever. What does this have to do with Donald Trump? Guys, what comes next is not going to be a joke. We're going to see a major political divide. It's going to basically be bloods versus crips. Because we have now divided. It's no longer about race. Okay? The new racial divide is interpolitical. Red versus blue. That's the red versus blue. That's the new. That's the new divide right there. Democrat versus Republican. Blood versus Crip. It's the same damn thing. Honestly, I'll say it's even worse now because because you know the B's and the C's. A lot of them made peace. Started making peace years ago. Okay, but when it comes to the rhinos and the elephants, that's not happening. 
are the uh are the uh are the the the, the donkeys and the uh, elephants it's crazy are the red the reds and the blues in the political side it's it's worse than ever and jedex knows exactly what's coming it's going to be mess around find out mess around find out like we've gone into a completely different direction now you're going to see things you never expected before everyone is going to be on edge the okay conservatives are not going to be playing games not going to be playing games it's going to be a nightmare like you have to be like guys this political cuz there are people who are still praising joe biden and saying that they love him and that, you know he's done an amazing job guys they want they have a specific agenda the simple truth is that because of this, because of all, because of all of this, and what happened with that that thing that happened with Trump, it was the final straw, and the mainstream media is still trying, is still going after him. Not even a full two days yet, they're still going after him. The state is still going after him. What is this going to lead to? Guys, you know, we don't want to talk, we don't want to use the term, but it's C I V I L W A R. Regardless of who wins in the in November, I truly believe that we are heading in that direction now. Because this was the thing, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. 100 percent It was the, just like M2. For scorched the earth when it came to the relationship between men and women in Western society. This specific event scorched the earth. There's no going back anymore. There's no coming together anymore. Like it's it's over now. And you have a lot of these people like Al Sharpton that are trying, like, oh, we're gonna pray for him. Like, you know, the people who criticized him, the people who made statements like using terms like threat to democracy. These are the people that are now offering prayers. Where's Jimmy Kimmel? Who for years relentlessly went after him. What about the ladies of the view? And they're not going to stop, but they're going to claim they're going to cry victim when people start splicing up cliffs of them, saying all of these things, pointing out exactly who they are. Guys, it's over. It's over one it's it's hands down over and JetX JetX knows exactly what it is. This is the reason why I have to say leave the bear alone. Don't poke the bear because when the bear wakes up it's all hell. All hell breaks loose. And they kept on poking, poking and poking this situation and now this is what happened. And the craziest thing about it is how did Trump survive that? He literally turned at the right moment. And as a result of that, guys, this is crazy stuff. The reason why that punk failed is because Trump turned at the right moment. And as a result, only his ear got nicked. Bro. Holy. Guys, this guy. How do you? That's God right there. That's God right there. Oh my gosh, guys, he literally dodged it like Ultra Instinct. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then, then he went down after it happened. He went down. Did you see how quickly he hit the ground? Uh uh. Uh uh. We all know what's coming. We all know what's coming. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content and you want to hear my unfiltered thoughts, consider signing up for my newsletter. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Go check it out. And also, guys, join the Angry Guy community for exclusive content or to support the channel. There's a link to it in the description of the video. And you can visit it by going to angrygalaxy.com. We all now know what's going to happen next, guys. Do you agree with my assessment? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and we'll talk about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away and shit.